Ah, now here we are with part two. Now basically, we need to go a few places before we can actually enter the first level. Yeah, you can enter Patrick's Rock. I was just double checking if you can, but I know you can now. And trust me, there's one sock here. Grab that with your head bash. And you can't even move while you're doing a head bash, which is annoying, unless you do this weird trick with like an, an ability you get much later on in the game. Now we have to annoy Squidward. Because what would SpongeBob be without annoying Squidward? Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? No. I'm so sorry, Squid. I don't know if I can, though. We're just playing a game, and oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> Move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. What he means is don't jump around like an idiot. <laughs> Why? You'll find out. Come on, SpongeBob. You can make it. Or I could just do that. Okay, okay, stop. Once you do Ace, that... Didn't I pay you to go away? Yes, he did pay me to go away. Sort of. I might skip some of the dialogue, but I will let you listen to some. Let's go out. So yeah, this is a very good game. If you find it for cheap, then buy it. Definitely worth the money. Unfor kind of unfortunately for me, there's no Japanese version because, well, I guess Spongebob just wasn't popular enough at the time. I knew he existed by the time this game came out in Japan, so I don't see why there's no Japanese version. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Now I'm gonna do something very interesting. Whoops, that, that went wrong. You might not know what this glitch is going to be, but if you've seen speedruns of this game, which I don't know if any of you have, and I would be surprised if any of you ha actually have. Basically, you just do this weird glitch. This very weird glitch. Just get stuck by these rocks, and then it's just entertaining. Even speedrunners do it for this level. What the? The hand's not coming. Probably because that thing is stuck into my head. That's actually quite gross. There we go, I've left. SpongeBob is our only hope, according to the back of the box. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. This game has pretty good music as well. Scooper just left the level. As in Bikini Bottom, and now he's in this level. And then he gets zapped by the jellyfish. And then he somehow has some spare bandages and a plaster. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you particle head. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> he obviously does. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! Like usual. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, 
According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off the scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I wonder if I'll meet any sporks. I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. Or do that. whatever. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Okay, that sounded very manly. Just my side. Die. Stupid robot! At the very least, I got my health power straight away. This game has quite a few glitches. I don't mean quite a few. Just go watch some videos on the internet. It's very interesting. Now, as you can see over there, there is a sock in the middle of the ocean. If you get to it, you just gotta find a way to get to it. That's how. Die. 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 Everything must die. <laughs> uh, wait, he's going fishing for robots? I'm pretty sure that robots can't survive the water. The game just gives you reminders because it thinks you're stupid. That's what the manual's for, in case you want to know how to do moves that are completely obvious. And yes, I do have the manual. And it advertises pack, no, not pack, tack, and the power juju on the back of the manual. Back of the manual is usually advertised games, which is interesting. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay. I don't think I've ever got to, to it like that. So that's interesting. But my question is that, can you get there? Can you get that sock all the way from over here? Of course you can't, it's too far away. Yeah, die. This is a very good game, and I definitely recommend it. If you want to play it, I def it's not that expensive, and yeah, go buy it. If you want. Okay, I'm going to have to do some tricky platform, and then I drown. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm Wait, I drowned? <laughs> yes! You know what that means. Right? Yes! I can break the game! Oh, I didn't get it! Now you see, the hand is supposed to... No, not yet. Fine. You see, the hand is supposed to pick you up when you fall down there. Which sucks, but okay. I guess that's fair. I guess. But. Sometimes the game does not always register the hand existing, so you can collect some spatulas early. Particularly the ones from bungee jumping, which is just awesome. And I can collect that sock early. This game has quite a few really interesting glitches, and I even 
did a few on my first playthrough uh, through this game. Now I will not review this game because, well, it's not the easiest type of game to review. Because it'll probably take me ages to do it. But anyway, not everything's terrible. I can't even clip. I can kind of clip into that rock. I can't stand any higher than I want. Stupid Tiki statue. I hate you. Look how many combos you can do here! I got a super monster combo! I guess that's cool. You, you don't know what you can jump on and what you can't jump on, it's just weird. Maybe this game just works weirdly. Although this game's mechanics are very interesting. I'm going to try and get that sock by, you know, jumping. But unfortunately, these you cannot jump on those things. Okay, I drowned early. Interesting. Unfortunately, I do not think I can reach the stock from here either. I don't know the the actual way you're supposed to get that sock. I just did it by jumping everywhere and seeing if I can get to it. It gave me a text box, possibly to do the bungee. Which, now that I have the spatula, is a waste of money. I don't even know if you have to pay for it in this level, but you do in other levels. And trust me, when the game's glitchy enough to not make you use it, it is so good. <laughs> Unlucky SpongeBob. Maybe next time. Possibly going to take me a while. Unless I'm lucky, then. <laughs> yes! That was epic! A super monster combo! Ooh! This game is so good. I'm just reminded of how great this game is. Mainly because recently I bought the SpongeBob SquarePants movie from this random store. And yeah, I it just it was really good. It just reminded me how much I liked Bass from the Kitty Bottom. So yeah. And then while I was just looking through the, the games I could do, you know. Let's play on. Oh, I was just looking randomly looking through my games, and then I saw this game, and then thought, "This will make a good let's play." And then I just played it. Super monster combo. Let's see if I can get up there. That'll be interesting if I can. I'm allowed to stand on this rock, but not on those rocks. 
you don't know what you can and can't stand on. That's the thing about this game. The interesting thing about games with glitches is that you don't know what you can stand on and what you can't stand on. Aha, now I know what to do. You're supposed to use Patrick and use the freezy through. Basically what it does is that it basically... Ah, Ooh, these guys move so weirdly. And remember, I want to do glitches. Yeah, it's probably spa smarter just to go on the freezy fruit. No, I know how to get to it. Go on that. And then get some of them down so you can actually get here. There we go. That's how you do it the glitchy way. Or my way. Don't know if speedrunners do that though. I don't know what they do. That was interesting. Let's do that again. Or I'll just drown in midair. This game is some pretty good music. The graphics look okay for the time, and the music is very good. No matter what the time is. Whether it's 2003, or 2014, or 2093. It still sounds good. Let's just walk across these barrels. I don't know if I've ever gone here before. I really don't. Now, I will have trouble finding all the socks. So just remember that. Here we have a purple one. Let's just move on. Oh my god, giant puffish. They look weird. I really do. Now oh, come on. Now the knockback from enemies is just crazy in this game. But it can be used for some great shortcuts. Which we may see later in the Let's Play. Stop shooting your puff fish. You said it, Dick. Now, here you use a bungee, and this is how you're supposed to get the spatula. But since the hand doesn't always register its existence, you can just, you know, do it the glitchy way, like I did. The game just reminds you of pointless beep that you probably already know. Ah, you can stand on here. I knew that you could. What are the game designers thinking putting thingies down where you can't survive? Just stand on here. Well, I've got a few. That's good, I guess. Now, I don't know how you meant to get over there the glitchy way, because that does not seem possible to, you know, go on. Hey, I'm terrible at reenacting songs. Ah, that's why they were down there. Now it makes a bit more sense. Just but it still seems not. glitchy that you can get them early. It's the ch checkpoint. Oh my god! Fish abuse! That is evil. Oh 
Super Ultra Mega Combo! Still not as good as Monster Combo, but whatever. Don't want to go there because that's going backwards. I don't want to go backwards. No, I want to go forwards. Yep, you can walk on these places as well. Very interesting. Yeah, you can walk on this too. But I don't know if you can get up this giant jellyfish early. As in without the bungee jumping. Or the thingy jumping. Oh, come on. You know I give up. Yeah, I give up. It's official. I give up. I gave up. Now, we will be coming back here later to do that challenge. Because I need an ability that I don't have yet. Every time you beat a boss, you get a new ability. I like Crash Bandicoot. But there are only three bosses and you only get and you don't get a new ability after the last one. So that sucks. Boom! Killed him! And it cost me absolutely nothing! This game is interesting. Especially if you do stuff like that. This is goo. No, it's not. It's water. Spider and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Now the second D. Now, no, now the second O kind of looks like a D. <laughs> so it, so it kind of looks like it's telling you that the water or the goo is God. <laughs> That's interesting. Ooh, that was skill. And the song loops again. Do 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 do. Now you can see a sock all the way up in the sky. Now that is supposed to be the sock that you get after you beat that challenge that we can't do yet. Why is the sock in the sky? I don't know. It's kind of like a Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, where they're like letters underneath the level. I don't know, it's just there. It's just how they designed the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not that. I'm guessing it's saying jelly feel. No, jellyfish feels, I think. I can't quite see it. The game is a bit mean. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. It was meant to jump more. Ow. That's Let's just keep jumping over the gooey god water thing. Now. <laughs> That's open and now. I can continue. Now I can just teleport. Whee! Into the cardboard box. Or through the cardboard box. I can't believe there are cardboard boxes that can teleport you. 
teleporting cardboard boxes. It was like this Horrid Henry story. Yes, it's Horrid Henry's mean time machine thingy. But basically, Horrid Henry makes a machine, a time machine. Oh, he doesn't make one. He just pretends that a cardboard box is a time machine. Kind of reminds me of that. But the only difference is that the main character is SpongeBob, and it te it can't tell EQ into the future. Now what I wanted to do was to like try and clip through the wall. Don't know if that's possible, and I don't think that it's possible, sadly. Unless there's like some way to jump super high and go through the walls of the, the, the invisible barrier that's actually above the thing. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just hit that. And now let's get that. So yeah. We've just collected that spatula, and now the part is close to an end. But first we're entering the jellyfish caves, because why shouldn't we? Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your Yeah, Mermaid Man's here! Hey, huh? What? what? Oh, yeah, it's that Sponge Kid. Yay, Sponge no, Kid is here. What am I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. That's weird. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? You're weird. Here I come, Patrick! Anyway, that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the previous video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Big Bang Pop signing out.